This one can absolutely happen to the best of us. We just lose our train of thought for a few seconds and stop paying attention and accidents happen. Welcome back guys, it is your boy Broncos Guru and it's this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. Now these types of things don't just happen to us, they can happen to the pros as well. And sometimes things can get a little confusing on this. When I say the word captain, sometimes people think about professionally licensed captains, but the reality is a captain is just somebody who's in command of a vessel. But even the professionally trained captain is still prone to some of the same mistakes we make ourselves, especially when it comes to not paying attention or just missing some of the small details sometimes. as can be seen in these images here. But you know what? Maybe they were just trying to get out of there before port authorities arrived. Maybe they got some stuff on this boat they didn't want customs to catch, or maybe somebody just forgot to release the lines. Or even like this distracted driver here. You never know what's really going on in life. Who he's texting, maybe he's Facebook messaging somebody. I can't keep track of what everybody's doing, but definitely had to be doing something to miss this large vessel in front of him. And sometimes we all deal with all kinds of faults. This one could have been mechanical, you never really know. Kind of like our next one we're gonna see here where this large vessel is being towed around by a tugboat in this canal. But somehow things are just not going right as this large vessel is actually drifting towards shore. I'm actually assuming this one is mechanical. The tugboat itself does appear to be functioning as normal, but it appears the mechanical equipment they are using to pull these lines tight have actually malfunctioned and something's going wrong where they can't get the lines tight around this vessel to get it pulled off the shore. And as you can see right here, this vessel's actually going to drift into the land. Not only that, we're going to see this far line is going to drift right underneath the dock and this is going to cause all kinds of messes. They actually wind up having to release all these lines off the tugboat to try and reassess this situation a little bit later on. But this just goes to show you that the pros don't always get it right as well. Whether it's mechanical failure or personal failure, things happen. So whether you're a professionally licensed captain or a normal pleasure captain out there enjoying themselves on the water, you shouldn't beat yourself up too bad just when things go wrong. Here we're going to see these commercial fishing vessels and this really actually isn't the fault of any captain at all. I just want somebody to explain this one to me. A viewer sent these images in. Apparently it's in Inish Turk, Ireland. Originally I thought this might be some sort of lock situation, but I'm being confirmed that that is not the case, that this was just an incoming tide. Has anybody ever seen anything like this? Just love an explanation. I'm sure the other people watching this video would love an explanation about exactly what happened here and how in the world this tide and this water came in this fast. But if you have any idea, light it up in the comment section below to let the rest of us know. And that brings us to the rest of us captains who do make some silly mistakes when we're not paying attention as well, like these guys here where they just sent it a little too hard and wind up on the beach, and I think they're probably going to need a little bigger shovel to get this back off the beach. Or like when we're not paying attention where we're going and accidentally run into that sandbar that's been in there the whole time we've been boating in this area. Or it could be even a little worse, sometimes we'll set ourselves up, not for failure or success, but you know what, we'll catch innocent bystanders like these guys here where they're just enjoying their day, where the boater actually asks them, hey guys, come around to the other side and take a picture, and we'll catch them off guard where they're not really paying attention. Why would this random boater want to take a picture of us? Maybe we just look that good today that they thought, hey man, we'd love just to have a photo of you guys to go ahead and add to the gram. Well, you know what, that's never the case. <laughs> And this is one of my favorite ones as a pleasure boater, when somebody tries to pass us with no real alert. And you know what? It even gets better when it's the person you're pulling behind the boat who tries to pass you and you speed up and all of a sudden, well, bad things happen. Or you're out there trying to mimic that favorite TikTok you guys have been doing forever and you forget to tell your friend as she's recording. Whatever you do, you can only take two or three steps back and she takes that one extra step back. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheader Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening in your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Dire Mew Brown did, Calumet IS, and Brooks Porter 2020. And if you haven't already, guys, go ahead and drop an anchor on that subscribe button. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.